Blackstone guitars, uh, me and Sam have uh, had to be resourceful because we didn't have a whole lot of money to buy machines. So we decided, well, if you look around the shop, there's, there's many of our jigs and fixtures that we do, do believe in the building. And uh, this one right here is, is our drum sander. We actually made the actual drum sander perhaps about ooh, three, four years ago. Uh, just looked at what the YouTube guys were doing. There's some great guys out there. Picked up the idea of uh, making the actual roller for an NDF. Uh, it's got two pillar blocks underneath is a two pillar watt motor but uh, we were having to hand feed everything and we were getting ripples and ridges all the way uh, across our boards these are some of our boards that we're using for backs and sides of our guitars we wanted to get rid of that we wanted a we decided we wanted a power peak conveyor and again looked at the youtube guys and, and then i looked at also the commercial items that, that were out there and we decided to not build it out of wood, but I'm an engineer anyway, so I decided to build it out of metal. So if you want to come and have a look, basically how this thing works, um, the actual conveyor, I've got a little uh, switch here that uh, gives me forward motion, off, back. It's just a double pole, double throw switch. Uh, also, uh, this speed controller off eBay, so I can speed it up, slow it down, get my feedback exactly how I want it. About five quid off eBay, it's all there. And uh, quite remarkably, uh, the thing that's actually powering it is a tiny, tiny um, little uh, wiper motor, 12 volts, got a set of 12 volt supply. And we've literally got, this is 54 watts, overcoming 2000 watts. And as I say, I'm an engineer, and I've been around the block a few times, designed a few machines in my, my time in industry. When I did the calculations for this, I, I just couldn't believe, but every time I did the calculations, it said, this tiny little motor, 54 watts, would actually put this board through and overcome the resistance of, of the actual sanding drum itself. And the kickback of this is 22, about 23 kilograms are calculated. But this conveyor, because it's such a low speed, the torque is massive, is actually giving a push of over 100 kilograms. I was gobsmacked, I've got to tell you. And so what we've decided to do now, the, the machine looks a bit rough and ready, but I get an accuracy on this. The thickness we can control to within one tenth across 500 millimeters. It's crazy. It really works. Nobody more surprised than me at just how good it is. Um, it looks ugly, but it does the job. So we decided to call the machine David and Goliath. The story from the Bible where a, a little kid overcomes a great big giant. Well, a little tiny motor overcomes a great big giant of a motor so that's it we call our drop sanding machine david and goliath thanks mate